What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new OnePlus 9 Pro. OnePlus is known for their speed indeed, but this time around, they want to give a better user experience in the camera department. So OnePlus partnered up with Hasselblad to try to make that happen. Let's do this! And here we are taking our first look. Pine Green is definitely on the scene. This is a very nice feeling device. Very good looking. You won't have much fingerprints at all due to the matte back. You have Hasselblad near the camera area. Here at the top of the device, you see the microphone. Left side, the up and down volume keys. On the bottom of the device, you'll see the SIM tray, Type-C port, and the speaker. This device does not have expandable storage. On the right side, you have the textured mute switch, so you can toggle between mute, ring, and vibrate. And underneath the mute switch is the power button. Here's a quick look at the camera bump. 16 megapixel Sony sensor for the selfie camera, and this is a 120 hertz AMOLED 6.7 inch display. It gives me two options for a launcher. I'll go ahead and use the OnePlus launcher. Let's see what that's all about. And here it is, it's putting on the wallpaper. Now let's go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor because as you know, or as you may not know, OnePlus to me has the fastest fingerprint sensor. There you go. 
So here it is, the mute switch, as I talked about earlier. So you have vibrate mode. You also have silent mode. And you have ring. Here I'm transferring my data from my old device to the new device. This device is equipped with reverse wireless charging. Let's go ahead and test it out. This is my Google Pixel 5 and I'll just place the device onto the OnePlus 9 Pro. And as you see, it is charging. Now you can do this with watches, earbuds. So I'll place the earbuds onto the device and let me pick it up so that you guys can see. And as you see, it is charging. One thing to keep in mind is yes, the OnePlus is a fast device, but reverse wireless charging is never really fast. Charging the S21 Ultra from 44% will take two hours and 32 minutes to get it to full. So you would use something like this if you were in a pinch, but basically I would use a cable. And speaking of cable, let's go ahead and test out the cable that was included in the box. So you know this is warp charging, so the speeds on this is ridiculous. So I'm at 20%. And let me show you 433, I'm at 21%. So it's giving me 32 minutes to get it to 100. So at 454, I'm at 96%. At 456, I'm at 98%. At 457, I'm at 99%. And then we'll hit it again, and I'm still at 457 with it completely charged. Whoa. Now during the event, all I heard was they partner with Hasselblad, blah, 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 Hasselblad, blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and test out these cameras and see if they're any good. So I have my Mr. Spam guy. And what I want to do for you is first go ahead and take a picture so you can see the shutter speed. And there's no shutter lag there. So a cool feature within the camera app is called Quick Share. So what you would do is go ahead and snap your picture, but then you would long hold the gallery button and you can go ahead and share your moments. You have a variety of modes within the camera app, but one that stands out is pro mode. So you can go ahead and change the settings to the ISO, white balance, shutter speed, and all of those types of settings. So here's a look at the settings within the camera app. So everything is pretty much toggled on. The selfie camera has an indicator to let you know that it is in use. testing out the front facing camera of the OnePlus 9 Pro using 60 frames per second. Let me know again, how does the audio sound? What does the video quality look like to you? Mind you, I do have a window back here. So what is it doing to me? What is it doing to the quality of the video? All right, later.
what do you need coffee for if you can be hyped off the cameras from the OnePlus 9 Pro? It's like, I'm just playing, but the cameras were good. They were not great. I don't think they were worth all the hype, but I do think they will get better over time with updates. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.